world record of seven wins and four losses. Representing Tiger Muay Thai and Strike Force Auckland, hailing from New Zealand. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Kai Ware. Kai Kara France! His opponent in the red corner. He is a pancration artist with a professional record of 12 wins and one loss. Representing Borneo Tribal Squad and Fight Corps MMA from the Philippines. He is the Mugen Mark Striegel. Three five-minute rounds of professional bantamweight action coming to you. And when it goes down, your referee in control of the action is Mr. Oliver Cost. All right, guys. Watch out for headbutt. Low goes back off the head and spine. As you know, no foot stomp to the head. Don't grab the fence, okay? You send my command all the time. Protect yourself all the time. Touch glove if you want. Back your corner. Yes! We've seen him fight for titles in the past. Mark Striegel with a very impressive 12 and 1 record. Uh, Cara France with a 7, 4 and 1 overall record, but he's been in with some really Round tough fighters. One. Both of these guys are still very, very young as well. Uh, very young guys, very athletic guys. Again, physique on these dudes is amazing. Both of them choose to range out. Kaiware got that back pedal down and he goes for that left low kick. The Morgan answers right back, firing off a left of his own. A patient start, two very experienced fighters as Cara France attempts the head kick there. Striegel, I think he was going for the flying knee, didn't quite time Kai that right. throws him down, again goes for that soccer kick. The Morgan grabs the body, puts him up against the cage, underhooks by Cara France. Yeah, these 1FC rules, for me, it is the most exciting rule set, and we've seen a lot of soccer kick KOs in 1FC, but this is not a good position for Cara France. Uh, Mark Striegel there, taking his back, trying to get the hooks in. I think he's going to be looking for the rear naked choke. He is staying in control of the back, and he's once again raising that knee up. Hits him in the back of the, in the, uh, back of the thigh. And again, they're locked up against the cage. Uh, oh, Morgan dragging him back down, and obviously looking for that rear naked. He's got the one hook in on the on the right side, and he'll throw some punches to the face. Car France, once again defending very, very well, defending very well, controlling that hand, and that's what he's got to do. When you're in this position, this, this this position of where the man on the back can get that rear naked, you got to reach for that throat. You got to be protecting your throat at all times. He's tucking his chin very well, and you can see. Mugen's face showing everybody once again what determination he's putting into trying to get this rear naked choke. Yeah, uh, a tremendous display of heart here from Kyra Kyra France. He's not giving up easily. Uh, this is a very bad spot for him though. Uh, Striegel, he looks like he might have given it up. I think Cara France has... No, he's still got his elbow under the chin. Once again, Cara France putting his chin down very well. You can see it slipped under. You can see it slipped under. <laughs> Up, I just laugh, put my kicks up on they desk, unaffected by they threats, then get busy on they See, that's how that shot down me, man. That's how my daddy raised me. That get to win may not be gold, don't let nobody play me. If you are my homeboy, you never have to pay me. Go on and put your hands up when times is hard, you stand up. Oh, you be the man, cause a brand that the fans trust. So even if they ban us, they'll never slow my plans up. I didn't get that selfie the first time. Let's get that selfie right now, though. That was amazing.
One in the air for the people that ain't here. Two in the air for the brother that's there. Three in the air for the kids in the ghetto. Four for the kids that don't want to be there. None for the f***ing trying to hold him back. Five in the air for the teachers not scared to tell those kids that's living in the ghetto that the niggas holding back that the world is theirs. Yeah, yeah, the world is yours. I was once that little boy terrified. A round of applause again for both competitors showing amazing sportsmanship right here. Amazing sportsmanship shown by both teams. And that's what it's all about. Again, it's a very humbling experience. It's a very humbling experience being in this cage. Again, there's no losers in the cage. Please welcome the CEO of Tune Talk, Jason Lowe, into the stage to crown the champion. Fantastic phantom weight action right there. There has to be a winner. So at two minutes and ten seconds into the first round by Rear Naked Choke, your winner fighting out of the red corner, Mr. Mark the Mugen Striegel. When you look outside your window, brown grass or green grass, pick your fence of barbed wire, never ever put them down. You just lift your arms higher, raise them to your arms higher, let them know you there, that you struggle and survive, and that you gon' persevere. Yeah, ain't nobody leaving, nobody going home, even if they turn the lights out, the show is going on. All right, all right. That was amazing. That was honestly amazing. I, that was pretty crazy. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm over the moon for you. It's been a while since you've been in the cage, but you're back. And again, Kai is no slouch. That kid is an animal. So for you to go in and do that, I mean, again, very proud of you. Uh, give a shout out to whoever you want. Thank you. Um, I love Malaysia. Thank you for the opportunity, Mima. Thank you for everyone for coming tonight. You guys have been great. Um, I'd like to thank all my sponsors. Uh, my team, Borneo Tribal Squad, Fight Corps MMA in the Philippines, and uh, thank you everybody. Thank you for supporting MMA in Malaysia. Thank you. Another round of applause for your winner, Mr. Mark Lamugan Striegel, ladies and gentlemen. Kane is in the building. I apologize to everybody here for making you clap and yell so much, but I need you to make some noise one more time because we're coming into the last fight of the evening and it's the grudge match we all want. Mr. Will the Kill Chope versus Matt Polino, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise! <laughs> 